enjoying this vlog that we're doing here on the hidden riches and secret places. And this is our third one. And so I, I, I hope that this will minister to you today. This one means a lot to me. Uh, we're talking about the, in Isaiah where it talks about that, that there are treasures of darkness and there are hidden riches in secret places and that God reveals them to us to prove to us that he's God. And I want to give you a third one today, and that is the hidden riches and secret places are wisdom and knowledge and understanding. It's what? It's wisdom, it's knowledge, and understanding. I'm going to point your attention to Daniel chapter 2, verse 21 and 22. Listen to what he says. He says, and he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and sets up, setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom, that's what he says, he gives wisdom unto who? Unto the wise, and knowledge to them that know understanding. So three things, God said, I'm going to give you wisdom, I'm going to give you knowledge, I'm going to give you understanding. Verse 22 says this, listen to this, he revealeth the deep and secret things, he knoweth what is in the darkness, and the light dwelleth with him. And so God says this, there are things that, we're, that are, you'll find in the secret places, in the deep and secret places of God, you can then, you can gain wisdom, you can gain knowledge. I'm not talking about worldly knowledge. I'm not talking about worldly wisdom. I'm talking about that which cometh from above. And understanding, God gives us this promise in his word. It's in the hidden and secret places that one finds the deeper things of God. I, I remember growing up, and, and, and I'm not trying to be rude or crude or derogatory about anybody that says something. But I remember growing up, um, one preacher, famous preacher said this. He says, he says, beware of going in, deep with God. So he said, some guys go so deep with God, they're sunk. Now, I never understood that because I'll be honest with you, I, I, I just think I need to go deeper with God. I think it's in the deep places where the blessing, you know, when they got in the boat with Jesus, Jesus had launched out into the deep. And, and when they got out into the deep, is when, my friend, they were able to come up with a great, great host of fish. We must understand if we're going to walk with God in the deeper things, then we must learn to hide ourselves with him. Hide ourselves and, and go home tonight. Go home tonight and, and find a hiding place with God and, and discover the deeper things of God. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 2.10, it says that God has revealed them unto us by his spirit, for the spirit searcheth all things, yea, what? The deep things of God. Listen, as God wants to reveal deep things to you and me, okay? Deeper things to you and me than what we could ever imagine. Now, look what Proverbs 1, verse 20 through 23 says. It says, Wisdom crieth without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of the concourse. In the openings of the gates in the city, she uttereth her words, saying, How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? And the scorner delight in scorning, and the fools hate knowledge. He says, Turn you up my reproof. Behold, I will pour out you my spirit unto you, and I will make you known my words unto you. Now think about this. God says this. How long do you just want to be a simple, foolish believer, shallow believer? When God says this, in the hidden places, that there are secrets in the hidden places. There are deeper things that, that I would delight to reveal unto you. So I'm encouraging you to get on a pursuit of the hidden places and the hidden secret things of God and he wants to reveal to his children. And we're going to do another one next week, so don't miss it, okay? For looking for answers.